Hey everyone, I'm just here to talk to you a little bit about the lab that you're going to be doing um, so that it's not confusing at all for you. Uh, and it's not a lab where you're going to be using supplies, it's just a virtual digital thing. So you don't actually have to go um, use supplies in your house, you're just going to be using a Google Doc. Um, but this lab is an introduction to concentration. So a lot of you might already be familiar with the idea of things being either concentrated or dilute. So the goal today is for you to be able to explain the difference between something that's concentrated and something that's dilute. And then next time, we're gonna talk about specific ways that we can express um, concentration, um, but that's for next time. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, I'm gonna show you a picture really quick. I can get my PowerPoint to go forward. There we go. Okay, so here I have a picture of some different juices, basically. They're all the same juice, just some of them have more water added than others. So if I were to ask you which of these cups has the most concentrated juice in it, hopefully you would all know that it's this one. Um, if something is concentrated, that means it has a lot of solute per amount of solvent. So this one has a lot of whatever juice powder they dissolved in it per amount of water. The most dilute juice here would be this one. You can tell they hardly dissolved any powder in this cup. Just to show you a picture of what this looks like on a more molecular particle level. Here's a concentrated solution. You can see this probably has, I don't know, 40 or 50 molecules in this pretty small amount of water, but this one only has seven. So this one is more concentrated because it's got more molecules per amount of water than this one does. So that's concentrated and dilute. Now, I wanna show you a couple of things about the lab that we're doing just so it makes sense to everyone. So, Okay, signing in. Okay. Sorry guys, it wasn't supposed to sign me out. Okay, so the lab looks like this. And normally in class, I would have actually made some Kool-Aid for you. Um, but since you're at home and I don't know if you have Kool-Aid, I just gave you some pictures. So. We're saying, pretend you made three batches of Kool-Aid. Here's batch A, batch B, and batch C. And first, what you have to do is just answer some questions about them. So what observations do you see about each of these cups? Um, and then imagine that you've tasted them. What would they taste like? It's all pretty simple. Um, then you need to rank them from least concentrated to most concentrated. So that should be pretty easy. Um, now, this is where it gets a little confusing though. To drag these, you're gonna notice if you try and just click and drag, nothing's gonna happen. So what you have to do is double click on this picture. And it's gonna come up with a drawing and then you can like move them around. So if you think this one's the most dilute, you could move it over there. And then if you hit save and close, It'll save your changes, but I'm going to put it back to the way it was. Okay, so that's what you need to do there. Um, now, and then you give evidence. Now, this is another part where you need to double click on the picture. So it says the given recipe for Kool-Aid calls for one scoop of powder added to one cup of water. Create a model, model comparable to the one given for each of the following combinations. Indicate if the result is more concentrated, less concentrated, or the same concentration as the original recipe. So what, what they're saying is, here's your original recipe of drink. So one scoop, we're gonna say is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots of powder. And then we're gonna say one cup of water is this much water. So if you look, that's this amount of water. 
and then you need to make these other amounts. So what you need to do, just double click, and it will come up with a drawing, and then you can move stuff around. So, for example, drink C wants you to have a half scoop of powder and one cup of water. So one cup of water, we said, is this amount. So you move that over there, and then a half scoop of powder, if one scoop of powder is eight, then a half scoop would be four. And so your little powder dots are over here. Yours are bigger um, because that makes them easier to move. All right, um, it's sometimes hard to scroll on these things. So if it's not letting you scroll, just drag these text boxes up so you can see what they want from you um, if you're having trouble scrolling or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to move these back to where they were. But when you're done making your little drink models, just hit the save and close button up here. And then it will save all the work that you've done. And then you just need to rank these drinks in order of whether they're more or less concentrated. Well, not in order, just say whether they're more or less concentrated than the, new, the original. So for example, drink C is gonna be less concentrated because it only has four dots in one cup of water instead of eight. And then just write a definition for concentration, what you think it is. So hopefully that helps you out with the lab. Um, good luck, let me know if you have any questions. I am happy to help um, during my office hours or over email. So hope you guys are all doing well. Have a good day.